Hey friends and welcome back to another video packed with study tips. Today I want to talk to you about how you can develop a healthy study routine that won't burn you out. I often see people boasting on the gram that they study 10 to 12 hours every day and while you sometimes just have to gram for exams this should definitely be the exception and not the rule. A healthy study routine means that you can get done everything that you need to but then also have time for proper meals, exercising and social life. In other words, keeping your mind and body healthy and functional so you can perform your best in exams. So let me give you some tips about how to develop a study routine that worked wonders for me. Let's start with sleep and waking up. First of all, figure out how many hours you need to sleep every night. Giving your body the time it needs to rest is really important and also we consolidate the knowledge we learn over the day in our sleep. I need about nine hours of sleep every night, which I know is a lot, but that is just how my body works. And when I don't have class the next morning, I will set an alarm to exactly nine hours after I wake up. So I usually go to bed around 11 p.m. So I would wake up at around eight. However, that doesn't mean that you can just stay up as late as you want because you know you are going to get that amount of sleep. You should definitely stick to an actual sleeping routine and go to bed at about the same time every day. Next, develop a morning routine that has something in it that makes you look forward to jumping out of bed. That could be a good breakfast, morning yoga, a walk around the block, reading a couple of pages in your favorite book, scrolling through the news, whatever it is that you're looking forward to and that makes your day a little bit brighter. A tip that has changed so much for me personally is to not look at my phone directly after I wake up. Just not to overwhelm my brain right after waking up from sleeping mode. Next we want to schedule our day. Generally speaking, are you more of an early bird or a night owl? Try to adjust your schedule to your biological clock if possible. Find your peak productivity hours and then group all the other tasks around them. Your peak productivity hours should be the time when you do deep focus work such as memorizing stuff, essay writing, etc. For me that's about 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. so that's when I do all my deep focus work and other activities such as admin tasks, household chores or whatever I will do after that time is over. Depending on your eating habits you should schedule three to four meals within a day so that would be breakfast, lunch, a snack and dinner and you should try to eat healthy and fresh to support your brain and your overall well-being. There is nothing wrong with the snack you're craving. I have an actual snack drawer in my study room but especially during final season your body is stressed out already so at least try to give it some fuel. According to Harvard Health some great food linked to better brain power are green leafy veggies like kale or broccoli, fatty fish like salmon, cod or tuna, strawberries or blueberries, black tea and coffee and walnuts. I've actually linked the article in the description box if you're interested. If you don't have the time to cook every single day meal prepping could be a great option for you. Also there are lots of recipes out there that take less than 30 minutes to cook and everybody should be able to carve out 30 minutes of their day to cook a proper meal. Also try not to eat it your desk while already doing the next task. Instead, view your meals as breaks and enjoy them intentionally. Another thing would be to make time for breaks aside from meals. Even if it's final season, try to carve out at least one hour of every day that you spend in a way you like. It could be playing sports, watching Netflix, reading a book, taking a hot shower or bath, meeting up with friends, anything that makes you feel good. Try to avoid activities that are brain heavy like editing YouTube videos. Talking of exercising, you don't have to lift weights or run 10 miles, but even a 20 minute walk around your neighborhood or through a park are a great way to give your brain a break and get your blood circling. At this point I would like to take a moment to thank Nerdbugs for gifting me their neuron, heart and lungs plushies. They are so cute, aren't they? Apart from being really, really cute, these plushies are here to educate and inform us about the human body and inspire us to lead a healthier lifestyle. For me, being a college student and athlete, these three are perfect because they always remind me that to perform well in academia, a healthy mind is equally important 
to a healthy body. I've linked their website in the description box as well so you can get your favorite plushie. Speaking of body and mind, let's talk about the right mindset for a second. Tell yourself positive affirmations every single day. You are studying so much, it will be worth it, I promise you. And if you feel like quitting, then don't because you're this close to reaching your next goal. Always remember why you're doing what you're doing. Also, if social media stresses you out because you feel you can't keep up with all those productive people out there or simply because it distracts you too much, stop looking at it for the time being. Delete the apps or put a time limit on them. You'll be surprised at how good it feels. Now, I hope these tips were helpful. Definitely leave a thumbs up if they are and feel free to add any tips in the comments down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe for more study tips and college life videos every Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.